Hello and welcome. In this series, Helen Manu, a librarian at TAFE New South Wales, will tell the story of Mary Ellen Roberts, educator, feminist, philanthropist and trailblazer. Hello. I have chosen Mary Ellen Roberts because she was a very outspoken female champion for women's and girls' rights. She was at the forefront of efforts to promote the equality of status and the role of education for women. Mary Ellen Roberts, born in 1866, was one of 13 children. She grew up in Victoria, where her father, John Hartley Roberts, eventually opened a school at Linton, close to the Ballarat gold diggings. In 1882, her family moved to Tonga, a South Pacific island nation, for a period of time where her father became the new director of government schools. There he introduced free and compulsory education, thereafter becoming known as the Tamai of Tonga, which means father of Tonga. Mary Ellen Roberts was able to teach women's handicrafts in the schools. In 1900, the Public Service Gazette noticed confirmed that the Department of Public Instruction appointed Miss Mary Ellen Roberts to be teacher of scientific dress cutting and dressmaking at Sydney Technical College. Her earnings came from student fees. She was appointed lecturer in charge of women's handicrafts in 1908. She was prepared to work within the education system to achieve the goal of providing an education to meet the needs of women with courses preparing them for both their potential vocation as housewives or as wage earners. She went to great lengths to supervise all class work across Sydney Technical College and the growing centres by providing weekly class lessons in blueprint form where they were distributed throughout the city and regional colleges to ensure uniformity in teaching. This is a testament to her superb administration skills. In 1909, she also organised and was responsible for the teaching of tailor's cutting, lace making, corsetry and millinery across the state. Roberts was elected Vice President of the New South Wales Feminist Club founded in 1914. In 1917, she introduced certificate level courses in dressmaking, millinery, white work, which is corset making and underclothing, and special professional courses in clothes designing and cutting, lace making and art needlework. Bookkeeping and workroom management subjects were included as professional women's course components designed for female workers in the industry. The Women's Handicrafts Department also offered an instruction course for women interested in teaching dressmaking, millinery and white work. She was featured in the exhibition Labourers, Luminaries and Lieutenants for Anzac Day Centenary commemorations back in 2015. We discovered she took on an active role during World War I, promoting and using the opportunity for women to not only serve their country, but to work towards self-independence and earning money through formal vocational education and training. After the war, she was able to encourage soldiers' widows to enrol in dressmaking with their expenses paid for by the federal government. Showing an impressive illuminated manuscript treatment, this commemorative book was presented to Miss Roberts at Turner Hall during a formal evening on the 17th of October 1913. Inside contains thousands of signatures from her peers, students and ex-students as an acknowledgement for her valuable contribution to women's handicrafts at Sydney Technical College and New South Wales Country Colleges. Mary Ellen Roberts was able to build pretty much from scratch one of the biggest departments TAFE New South Wales has ever seen. The figures prove this. When she was appointed in 1900, there were only 25 students in Sydney and similar numbers at Newcastle and Bathurst Colleges. In the 25 years Miss Roberts was in charge, the department grew to five Sydney suburban classes and 15 regional centres. Attached to this were 28 classes in remote district areas 
as well as students studying by correspondence from across Australia. In 1917, Mary Ellen Roberts established a club for women's handicrafts students called the Vocations Club, which later became known as the Fashion Students Vocations Club. Originally situated on Regent and George Streets, its motto was Industry, Honour, Sisterhood. The club offered vocational guidance and a holistic approach to empowering women. The women worked on sewing projects for charitable organisations, participated in reading classes, organised social activities and outings. The Vacations Club provided a cafe for students and later established a store that stocked and sold e the equipment students needed for studying in the Women's Handicrafts Department from across TAFE New South Wales. The role of the Vacations Club then expanded to provide annual statewide scholarships for the highest achieving fashion students in TAFE New South Wales. As president, Miss Roberts' Vocations Club's work to help gender equality for women lasted for 95 years and along with the Vocations Club store, it ceased on the 5th of October 2012. The Outgoing Vocations Club Committee generously donated funds to the Powerhouse Museum Foundation in support of the fashion collection to perpetuate the objectives of the Vocations Club by helping with acquisitions and maintenance of the collection. Mary Ellen Roberts' career was cut short in 1924. However, her ideas dominated the teaching of women's handicrafts until at least the 1960s. She was loved and respected by all. She embodied sisterhood in the lives of tens of thousands of female students, influenced educational reform, and as a re result, she can be regarded as a positive contributor to the welfare of women in the 20th century society. If you would like to learn more on the history of TAFE New South Wales, or would like to comment, please visit the website. Thank you.